All right, folks, today on the channel, I wanna do a little bit of a science experiment, and it's on a topic that gets people quite hot. This is the whole oil, oil filter topic. <laughs> I don't wanna get into oil, okay? I'll leave whatever oil you wanna run in your car in your capable hands. I also don't wanna get into the whole, you know, here's 20 oil filters, which one's best? I wanna focus in specifically on the Motocraft FL1A. There's a lot of wives' tales that surround these Motocraft oil filters in a good way. Now, next time you're at a Cars and Coffee or a car show, find an old gal or guy, Ford lover, and talk to them about Motocraft oil filters, they'll make your ears bleed, okay? There's a lot of reasons, whether or not they're all true, I don't know, but there's a lot of reasons why you should run them. The one that I know for sure is it says right on the side of the oil filter, meets or exceeds Ford's expectations, warranty, so on and so forth. So for what it's worth, the Motocraft FL1A is the filter for the Ford small block 302. Recently, I had my 92 coupe in the shop and for what it's worth, it had a non Motocraft oil filter on it. It's a long story. I couldn't get my hands on these Motocraft oil filters for a little while. I took the non Motocraft oil filter off, put the Motocraft oil filter on, went on my merry way, while I was driving the car with the Motocraft oil filter, I happened to notice that I was getting higher oil pressure readings than what I was used to previously on the Fox Body oil pressure gauge. Now, the Fox Body oil pressure ga gauge is known for giving false readings, and the other side of it is it's just ticks throughout the gauge. It doesn't actually give you numbers, so you can't really get a quantitative figure as to what your oil pressure is. I want to put that all to rest today. I want to figure it out for myself and I want to also put it out to the world and share this information. So what I've got here, I got my oil pressure gauge. I'm going to hook that up to the 91 vert, which is a bone stock, small block 302, five liter. It's got a non motorcraft oil filter on it right now. We're going to run it through the paces. We're going to do the cold start, the idle. We'll rev it up. We'll get some figures from the non motorcraft oil filter. Then I'm going to put the FL1A on it and we're going to do the exact same thing and see if I'm losing my mind and or if there's any difference. Okay folks, here we go. Non-Motocraft oil filter. So not quite a freezing cold start. I mean, I drove the car to the shop, but I would say this is more or less idle. Call it 43 and a half PSI. seems to be holding around that 43 PSI at idle. FL1A.
seems to be holding exactly the same. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Scientific experiment, in air quotes, concluded. Now, obviously this wasn't a scientific experiment, but it was something that I was interested in doing. I wanted to see if there was any difference between a non-motorcraft oil filter and a motorcraft oil filter from an oil pressure perspective. I think we've proven that there isn't. So take that for what it's worth, okay? I think the reality is that uh, whatever micron filtration, the internals of that oil filter that they're running in the non-motorcraft oil filter the motor, to the motorcraft oil filter are very similar and therefore you get very similar pressures. Now, something I did learn is that this car has very good oil pressure. For 92,000 miles, I'm very, very happy with the oil pressure it has. Before anyone goes lighting me up in the comments, I'm fully aware of the fact that clearances, tolerances, oil pump selection, there's so many things that factor into oil pressure. I'm fully aware of all those, so please don't burn me up in the comments on this one. But anyway, it was something that I noticed in my other car. I wanted to do the experiment on this car, one for myself and two for anyone else out there that was curious about it. And I think we got a verdict. So anyway, guys, if nothing else, I hope this was entertaining and I hope you learned something from it. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Till the next time I see you, take care. Bye for now.